Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot here to do another weekend reading for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, check in the description box below, all the information is there. This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aquarius. Alright, so let's jump into this reading and see what Spirit has to say to you guys for the weekend. Mm. So the first card out is you have made a decision. You have made a decision concerning what Aquarius. The anxiety you have been feeling towards a connection or relationship. Okay. So you made a decision to come out of this Nine of Swords energy where you were anxious and frustrated about a potential heartbreak or a heartbreak that did happen. You are no longer looking for justice in this situation. It could have something to do with a Libra not being themselves and not being fair to you. Okay. So what is the decision that Aquarius has come to? Aquarius made a decision to stop being anxious. Hmm. The decision is that you are no longer willing to invest in this connection. Mm -hmm. Because you are finally coming out of your head when it comes to this connection. And this heartbreak that happened probably with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you, you aren't really willing to accept this small gesture of kindness or this small stable offer. Yeah. You, you don't want to keep juggling. So you have decided to try to make it work, probably with a Libra or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You don't see marriage with this person though. You don't see a long-term commitment with them. Probably has something to do with our Aries. But this person or you, you, you're not taking charge of the situation. Yeah. Somebody is not being nurturing and kind and motherly and understanding. <coughs> Excuse me at this point in time. <coughs> And somebody definitely needs to speak their truth because my throat chakra is constantly being affected. Like there's a block there. Okay, so somebody thinks that somebody else is being deceptive. And Aquarius, you are not willing to work on this connection. Because this person did something for you. <clears throat> and it was a small gesture of stability. And then it's like it went downhill from there. Yep. You're not ready to move on from the situation yet. You are accepting these small gestures of love and kindness. But you don't see this relationship going back to where it was. Where you were totally in love with this person. Could be a Gemini some of you are dealing with. Yeah. Because you're in your head, you... You're not using your head at this point in time. You're using mostly your heart, the way you feel. You aren't ready to cut out this person either. But you aren't trusting your intuition enough. There is no surprise that this person probably cheated on you, is lying to you, is trying to manipulate you in some way and form. But they are a good provider. They are a, a good provider in a sense, materialistically. 
they are nurturing and kind, but something seems to be off in the situation, Aquarius. What is it? You're not ready to take a leap of faith yet. But you know that this person is not your wish fulfillment. You can't be yourself with this person. For some of you, it's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You're still not willing to move on from this connection yet or move to calmer waters with this person. But communication is on its way. Communication is about to open up between you and this person. But this person still isn't being mature enough to tell you that they love you or to show you that they do. For some of you, you feel like this person doesn't love you at all. Because <coughs> you're waiting to receive an offer from this person, but it's like this person is never going to give it to you. And for some of you, you're ready to walk away. You're ready to walk to the Nine of Cups where you get your wishes fulfilled. You want a new stable beginning with someone. And you're not taking the time out to look for it here. You are building up a wall against this person. There is a definite wall between you and this person. The confusion that was there before is gone. You are no longer waiting for this person to change or for things to work out between the both of you because you don't see a reconciliation happening here. Because of the amount of lies and deceptions that happen, some of you could be a Pisces you're dealing with, others are Libra. For some of you, it is a Taurus. But you or the person you're dealing with could be an Aries Leo Sarge, by the way. This person is being irrational. They're being controlling. They are not being nice. They are literally a fire-breathing dragon right now. And this is not your wish come true. But uh, there could be a fire sign in the mix, Aries Leo Sag. But this person is just a knight. So they will rush in to give you passion. I'm not sure you would want that. Because you want an equal give and take situation. Because you're already in a situation where it's not an equal give and take. And you're tired. You're not even trying to explore any options at this point in time. Because you're holding on. Despite the arguments and fighting. Because there were some good moments between you and this person. There are a lot of nostalgic moments where this person was different to who they are now and you are hoping that things will work out in your favor they will choose you eventually stop the lying deceitfulness and the third party or you hope that they could just come out and say that they are cheating or lying to you but you're not ready to close the cycle yet you're still holding on waiting for success but there is a break in this relationship because you still love this person. Yeah, but somebody is being left out in the cold. You want to be single because you're not using your head over your heart when it comes to the betrayal that happened or didn't happen. Um, you are tired going through one cycle after another with this person. It has now become an obsession for you, could be procrastination, but they left you because they didn't want to commit to you or build a family with you. Yeah. You no longer, they are no longer a choice for you. You can't find balance in a situation, but you are so over this situation. Because what you want is commitment and stability. Marriage for some of you. Could be a Torah some of you are definitely dealing with. 
you can't find the courage to end it. I think for some of you, you're afraid to end this connection with this person. <clears throat> but you know a lot of lies are happening. Because this person is not the same person that they used to be. But there are a lot of good moments in the past between you and this person. I think that is what you are holding on to. Alright, that's what I have for you guys. Enjoy your weekend.